that washed ashore. And so I'm going to walk over there and see if the reception holds out and we'll see if, uh, if I can show it to you. And if not, then, um, then at least you'll get to see some ocean for a little while. Let's see how long the reception lasts. So we're at Ocean Beach, and it, it looks to be kind of a small whale, but it's washed ashore, and we're going to go check it out. And this is just what Ocean Beach looks like in case you want to see. And I'm not going to go too fast because I don't want to make you dizzy. There's a cliff house off on the horizon, Seal Rock, where the seals used to hang out. But ever since the earthquake of 1989, they moved over to Pier 39. So, here we are, heading over to the beach. And let's see, sorry about the bumpiness, I'm walking on sand. But I'm hoping that we can keep the reception long enough to see the whale. Um, poor little guy died, or well, it's, I'm saying little guy because it's small compared to Another one that I saw a few years back it was pretty big. That was in Pacifica. <clears throat> um, that, are you guys still with me? Good. Okay, might as well look at Oh, look, it rained a little last night. It's just left over of the clouds. Can you this one? Is this a chance? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Hi, thanks for joining. Sorry about the bumpy horizon. I'm walking in sand. I'm walking over to see, I'm at Ocean Beach in San Francisco, and I'm walking over to see, hello, <laughs> and I'm walking over to see a whale that washed ashore. So, and I'm gonna take some pictures of it just to, just to document it and just to kind of honor its life and remember it, kind of pay a tribute to it. See, oh, look, there's some other photographers there, too. So, seems to be the thing to do when something dies. Something <laughs> big from nature. Sad. Kind of don't know what else we can do, so... Just kind of at least acknowledge and memorialize it. It's pretty interesting science, too. <laughs> I used to be a marine biology ma major when I was in um, undergrad. So... Still get a kick out of this stuff. Okay, we're getting close enough. And when we get closer, I'll put my coffee down and kind of try to zoom in a little better. Okay, here comes the whale. See, it's very small as far as whales go. Oh, oh, it makes me sad. Dogger first cat in it. We try to get a little closer shot there. Let's see. Can you guys see it okay? Is it in focus for you? Sorry about the bumps. Okay. I'll set my coffee down on this log over here. And uh, let me get. Oh, it's got something on it. Pardon me. I just had to set my coffee down. What a strange mark on it. Oh, there it is. Good. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, this is some people from K Ron. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just get yeah. your thoughts about this? Whole sure. Thing? So, um, you get your focus. seen anything like this this close before? Yeah, actually there was one a couple years ago in Pacifica and it was a little bigger than this, but that little thing on the side when it cut out, it looks like they've already come and started doing some work on it. What do you, what do you think of this? Um, I think it either got hit by a big ship or maybe it's got sick. Probably a ship, I think. Yeah. 
amazing by the size. I, I, uh, kind of amazing the size, right? Yeah, yeah. But when you see these things up close, uh, you've seen them one before, right? Yeah. Linda, your last name? Linda Ann Williams. Linda Ann Williams. And you live in San Francisco? Yes, I do. Great. Yeah. Thanks, Linda. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for sticking with me for that. I got a little interview from K Ron News. <laughs>